Hi, my name is Andy Park. Welcome to this channel. In this video, I'll show you a quick and easy way to create a step-by-step -step instructions on how to complete a certain task on a Windows computer. This then you can share it with your colleagues, friends, and family, or even to keep for yourself as a reference. So Windows 10 has this built-in utility called Steps Recorder. As the name suggests, this tool records the steps that you take to do something on a computer, documenting every action, like a mouse click, along with the associated screenshots. This tool is really intended for tech support to help troubleshoot user issues, but I find that this tool is great for creating short step-by-step -step instructions for simple things like how to change a setting or how to configure something. As an example, let's say we want to create a short instructions on how to change the background in Teams. Let's first launch Steps Recorder by typing it in this Windows search field. Hit Start Record, then go through the instructional steps. Notice that whenever we mouse click on an object, we see a red dot informing us that the step is being recorded. We also have an option to add a comment by drawing a box around the content to bring attention to it. We'll continue until we complete the steps, then hit Stop Record. Now we can see the recorded steps. Let's expand this window. This first link is just pointing to these steps with screenshots just below. The bottom link is pointing to the steps with just the text descriptions of the action we took. Let's go back to the top. We can click on any of the images to make them full screen for better look, and click again to bring it back to the original size. The easiest way to view the steps, I think, is through the slideshow, which we can launch by clicking on this middle link. The slideshow will automatically start, but we can of course pause and manually control the playback using these control buttons on top. So let's look at these screenshots. We see that whenever we took an action step, it highlighted the area of interest with this green border and also captured the mouse placement. And where we made the comment, we see a red border around the highlighted section with the comment in the text description. Sorry for the misspell here. We can hit the save button to save this recording. Let's name it background instructions and save. We see that it's saved as a compressed zip file. When we extract the file, notice that the file is actually in mhtml which opens up in Microsoft Internet Explorer. So we can share this file with anyone as long as they have Internet Explorer. For me, I like to spend just a few minutes to tweak and refine this before sharing with people. Let's open the save file. Click Ctrl A to select all, then Ctrl C to copy. Open up Microsoft Word. Go to the layout and select the landscape orientation. Then paste the steps into the document by selecting Ctrl V. Let's clean up this header. As I mentioned earlier, this steps recorder is meant for tech support to help troubleshoot user issues. So these steps descriptions are very technical. We can replace the copy to something more user friendly. We can also delete these navigation controls. And since the mouse position is not easy to see, we can bring attention to it by adding a simple circle to highlight. We can format it to remove the fill and change the weight and the color. then position it over the mouse cursor. We can then copy the circle and paste it in other screenshots as well. And if we really want to get fancy, we can select the image, go to picture format, crop, then reposition and scale the picture to zoom in on the important part. We'll bring in the circle here as well. 
Going through the instructions, if the page is breaking in the wrong places, simply put the cursor at the start of what should be on a new page, then hit Control Enter to force a page break. And further clean up the dock, removing the navigation controls and updating the copy. Let's save this. And now that this isn't a Word doc rather than MHTML, everyone, including Mac users, should be able to open this file as long as they have Word. And there you have it. I think this is a lot simpler than using something like a snipping tool since that disrupts our flow when recording the steps. If you found this video helpful, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks and bye for now.